See that ugly light right there? That's the light in my master bathroom. I hate it. I've hated it since day one. In my old house, I built a light like this one here. Black fittings. You know, it looked cool on a piece of wood that was stained. Man, it, just, it was just a cool looking light. Got a lot of compliments on it. So I want to build something like that here. I got some tape up there measuring out. You know, the far left and far right is going to probably be the length of the board above there. The two middle ones mark the studs. So I got to work on how I'm going to bolt this piece of wood to the wall for the light to attach to. But I need the bolts to look symmetrical. If not, my OCD will kick in. But I figured out a way. Well, it's raining out here, so I hope you can hear me. Yeah, you hear that rain falling? It's just sprinkling outside. That's how loud it gets in here. So you can just imagine what it sounds like when it really pours in here. Wow, it is really loud out here. I can't even hear myself sing. I can hardly hear my voice. What I'm showing you here is just kind of a rough sketch of how I designed my lights. I'll draw this one here first. That's what it's going to look like from the front. You know, it's going to come out, it's going to be, you know, three lights coming out. I didn't really draw the connecting rods right across there, but there'll be one there. Then from the top, you know, it's going to, you know, here's the board. Lights are going to come out, it's going to connect right there. Not really sure what I'm going to use to make this just yet. My only problem is, if you saw inside, you know, that light's really not centered in between those mirrors. And so my wires are going to come out of the probably back of this left side, you know, this here would flip up if it, you know, that's how I'm just envisioning it. And the wires are going to come out, but here's the center line, and the hole for the electrical wires is going to be right, right about there. So I'm going to have to do something in the back of the board to allow those wires to come over there. Here's a better drawing I've done, more of the scale. Figure this board is going to be 26 inches long, 6 inches wide. So first of all, i got to get this board cut. Then I'm going to have to figure out where these holes are going to go. i got to match these holes up with the studs. But like, there would be one stud there and that other stud would be there. And it would look odd with the screw holes there. So I'm going to put fake screws here and maybe like right there. Just to, you know, make it look all even out and everything. Because it would just irritate the living crap out of me to look up there and see the holes not lined up perfectly. But I'm trying to think of a neat bolt hole covers or something to cover them up once it's all done. Now I need to take some measurements off this list and transfer them to the board. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of figure this line here is going to have to be two and three quarters over. So I'll just kind of make a Small mark right there. Then the next one has to be five and three eighths. So I'll make it right there. Same thing here, two and three quarters off that end, and five and three eighths right there. Then I'll just come in here with my speed square. Get that mark. I don't know if you can see that on there or not. Yeah, it looks like you can. Okay, now that I got the, I got these four lines marked on the board, I guess I ought to go ahead and mark that center one too. But I'm going to put these bolt holes or the screw holes or whatever I'm going to put in through there. I'm going to run them one inch off the edge on the top and the bottom. Okay, now that I got where the screw holes or bolt holes or whatever I'm going to use are, got that marked on both sides, 
I'm going to go ahead and take a center punch. I'm just going to just indent right on there. So when I drill into this, I'm not going to have any drifting of the drill bit or anything on there. Let me show you how this works right here. Basically, you just center it on there and you push it in. It'll just make a counter sink hole on there. That on the rest of them. This punch will also work on metal. Pretty much that's what it's intended for, but I sure do like it to use on wood. So now I gotta figure out what size screws I'm gonna use to mount this to the wall. Okay, I've come up with a way to what I'm gonna do for the bolts and screws on here. I'll just leave it to a little surprise to the end. But I've got this set up to where it'll, it's like a 3 8 Forstner bit. And it'll just go about 3 8 of the way down. And there we go. Got some recessed holes on both ends. You can see right here, these are all the fittings I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put two flanges out on each end. Little bushing right here to run this T on there. Went with kind of a bigger T here, so it'll be a lot easier to run, because I'm gonna have wires running from here all the way down into here, then wires from here all the way down, then wires in here. So I need more room for all the wires to go through in there. I'm at the still clean all these up, go over to the wire wheel on the on the grinder and get them all cleaned up and everything. And but in the back of my mind, I'm still wondering when I mount this board to the wall where the electrical box is gonna come through on the back of it. I know how to wire it up there, but I got to figure out how I'm gonna get the wires to come out of one side of this light and go over there. Maybe I can take a router and route a slot or something in the back and run the wires in that. That's probably what I'm going to do. I can't really think of any other way. But right now I'm going to get cleaning this fittings up and everything and get to assembling this thing. I'm back here at the bench. I'm going to start assembling this. Gonna put these bushings into the end of these 90s here as you can tell that has that eighth inch thread in there and that's where the light sockets are going to screw into I'm gonna leave these out until I get the wire ran that way I can run the wire through here then I'll attach them into here okay, so now I'm gonna have to figure out where this goes on here where I'm gonna place these flanges, I want to get them, you know, the same distance from here and from there to there. Then this here is going to go in the middle, but it's going to be supported by this copper tube on each side. I think that'll give it a really awesome look. I need to get the measurement because I got to cut this into two short pieces so it can go in between there. But I need to figure out this measurement. Before I measure those, I just had a good idea. If I can find my buffing wheels, which I think they're in the box somewhere around here, I'm going to polish this copper up. Make it really nice and shiny. That'll be, that'll give it a great look. I did find them. So I got one over here for the, just get it kind of smooth and shiny and high polish on that one there.
Now, as you can tell, it does make a big difference. Okay, I've come back from the polisher and got them all polished up. This here is going to go in the center. I did some measuring. Seven and a half inches is what I'm going to need here. Then I'm going to use this big old tubing cutter because it's the only sharp one that I have. Now, just to kind of show you what my plan is here. that there is kind of what I'm looking for. But you know what would look good? Is if those there were polished. Well, I got these polished up. Guess that's going to be it for this part right now. Can't really wire it up just yet. I'm going to need to go in the house and do some measuring and figure out where I'm going to cut the slot at in the back of this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get that measurement and figure out exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and mount the board to the wall so the holes will be there so I won't have to mess with this whole contraption when I go back in and try to mount it to the wall. I'll just know where the holes are and I can get it bolted to the wall. Well, my wife's getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. Some friends called and said, hey, let's go out to eat. We're going to go to the new Waffle House here in town. That's fine dining right there for people like me. Well, hey, in the next video, we'll get this thing put up on the wall, get it hooked up, making it look good. Got to do a little more woodwork, sanding it and everything. But hey, it'll all look good. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Ring that bell. Man, even give me a comment. I like reading comments, and I'll try to reply to all the comments. So until next time, see ya!